On behalf of the company, I'd like to welcome you aboard Condor Flight 342 to Athens. Good evening, this is your captain speaking. We are flying at an altitude of 28,000 feet, and our speed is 590 miles an hour. We can expect good weather all the way, and I take this opportunity to wish you an enjoyable flight. Il est mort. Moteur réaction. I'm finding Miss Sullivan. I got caught up at the view. Yes, very pretty. Yeah, uh, have you uh, noticed Mont Blanc? Yet? How's the Zurich affair going? Well, it's beginning to look like a dead end. Good. Good? Yes, something has just cropped up. This man. Find out who he was. Was? His eyes not exactly shut in sleep. Has he got a name? Yes, Clément, nothing more. It's a rather bizarre case. You'll find all the relevant facts in there. You can study them on the plane. To where? Back to Paris. By the way, what's King up to these days? Uh, he's doing some research on astronomy. Astronomy. I think I'm in Virgo. Let me see. 
It makes a nice change to find an astronomer reeking of cabochon. Virgo, well done, Jason. The brightest star is Spica. Oh, Jason, please, I can't concentrate. Well, perhaps scholars deserve a reward, surely, especially after two acts of Wagner. Spiker has a magnitude of 1.2 and forms an isosceles triangle with Arcturus in Boötes and Dan Erb in Leo. By studying Spiker and the star Rigel in Orion, Hipparchus discovered the precession of the equinoxes. It's lovely how one never stops learning. You haven't taken in a word I've said, Jason. Spiker forms an isosceles triangle with Arcturus in Boötes and a noble in Leo. By studying Spiker and the star Rigel in Orion, Jason King discovered his mad passion for Veronica Valley. You're incorrigible, Jason. Do you really need all this research to write a thriller? Well, if you spent a little less time reading Stargazer's Gazette and spent a little more time on Mark Kane, who'd know that my books were more than just bang-bang thrillers. Mm, your vanity is pricked. Punctured. I'll repair it later. Now see if you can find Vindeniatrix. It's the star of the third magnitude. I warn you, Veronica, my vanity requires a lot of repairing. I've had practice. Remember? It's for you, Paris. Hello? I'm uh, sorry to bring you down to earth, Jason, but something's just come up. Stuart says, could you drop your researches and get back here by the first available flight? On behalf of the company, I'd like to welcome you aboard to Condor Flight 342 to Athens. Mm, it would help if we knew who this was. What? Good evening. This is your I said it would help if we knew who Clem really was. Right, Annabelle is working on that. Our speed is 590 miles an hour. We can expect good weather all the way, and I take this opportunity to wish you an enjoyable flight. Is there anything important on that? I mean, apart from those dreadful jet noises. Not a thing. There's another half hour of it. Well, we can take that as red. Why should anyone want to simulate a flight to Athens? Right. We're not exactly popping up with ideas, are we? Well, you're supposed to be the whiz kid. I'm the leg man, remember? Fancy. There is no airline called Condor, so maybe Athens has no significance either. Does that help? No, not particularly. Oh, you rented the warehouse under the name of Clement. Cash advance, three months. Oh, he gave his address as 514 Avenue Victor Hugo. Right. There's no such address. Bought the aeroplane fuselage from CEA. Oh. Well, she paid cash again. It all comes back to the one name, Clement. Nothing else. Fancy. I could think of another word for it. Shall we? What? Oh, well, I thought perhaps we should go and have a look at the warehouse. Right. Sad without its wings. Hmm, you could write a poem. By the way, did you notice that girl with dark eyes sitting in the car outside? Yes, briefly. I think she was a bit more than interested. Let's have some atmosphere. Well, we can always check and see if she's there when we leave. You didn't get a registration number, did you? 
7791NE75. Clever. Where was Clement's body found? Well, he was found face down here in the gangway. But he was shot sitting here. And the bullet passed through this seat. Yeah, here's the bullet hole. Flash burns. I wonder how many people were here. Well, you have to start with three. The victim, mm -hmm. the killer, mm -hmm. and whoever it was that shot at the killer when he made his getaway. Hmm. I think if he was shot in the seat here... Yes, there'd be more than three. <clears throat> if somebody was sitting in the gangway over there, mm. he'd have to half turn and mask, you see. Also indicates that someone was sitting inside of Clement, making him a more difficult target. The recording indicates a game or a, a, a performance. A rehearsal? No, a training rehearsal. Gang rehearsal for hijacking an aircraft. What part does the murder play? Quarrel. Of disagreement on method? No. Shot through the seat indicates premeditation. You said figures. Suppose Clement, the guy that was killed, was the leader and somebody was trying to take over. Now, why pick such a risky time and place? Now, we've got to get more on Clement. Well, I think we've been airborne long enough. She's gone. Coincidence? Hey, look at this. Not coincidence. Friend of yours? 4 p.m. I'll let you know. doing here, murderer? Oh, I like you, Francoise. Uh, don't use that word, huh? How did you get in? Take my advice. Get your lock changed. Oh, I took the liberty of helping myself. Who hired you to kill him? Please, Francoise, don't bring in the violins. What did you care for, Clement? Got this place to yourself now. You should thank me. Let me fix your drink. I can fix my own. Relax, Francoise. Relax. Assassin! I like you, Francoise. Who's calling who names? You know, I was instructed to take you as well as Clément. <sighs> All right. So you said you thank you. Don't press your luck any further, hmm? So you were hired. Now it's my turn. Bar Rap, Rue Saint Dominique, four o'clock. Why? Francoise, what were you going to spill? How long have you been following me? Me, Francoise? Were you going to tell about me? Was it Le Beau who hired you to kill him? Ah. It was Le Beau. Clement talked, told you all about the boss man. <laughs> Pity. But Le Beau thought he was planning a takeover, didn't he? That's why Clement had to be put down, isn't it? And wasn't he? No. No! You were going along to the bar wrap at four o'clock to tell the cockroaches all about it. To fix me and Le Beau. All right, perhaps I was. But my account isn't with you, it's with Le Beau. I want to settle the account with him. Supposing we team up. You could kill Le Beau for me, and we could run the business between us. I know about the big one, Gerard. If you had Le Beau's share of it, you could retire. Need never do another job. Change your code easily, don't you, Francoise? One has to learn to profit from life. I'm no longer 16. That's right. Yes. Yeah. That's right. To profit. 
הסופית. You think she's going to show? She had dark eyes. So? They're the most unpredictable. <laughs> I see. Well, how much longer do we give her? Another drink. Hmm. Perhaps you made a mistake. Me? How? Insisting on coming along. She may have spotted us. And? May have put her off. It's easier to make a confessional to one person. How do you know she was going to make a confession? Divine assumption. <laughs> yes, of course. I keep forgetting. Uncle. Oh, are you paying for these? I'm going to phone Annabelle and see if she's tracked down that girl's registration. If, when you come back, the girl turns up, might I suggest that you obliterate yourself? You might suggest it, yes. Yes, yes, it's just come through. The car was registered in the name of Francoise Simon, apartment 26, Maison Nicolier, Rue Mallard. No luck, huh? I wouldn't say that. Let's say other fish are biting. What's Annabelle found? Uh, I'm going to drop by. You coming? Uh, in a moment. Permettez-moi. Ah! Oh, Michel, ma chérie. Oh, tu veux voir quelque chose, Clémentine? Comment allez-vous, Pierre? Looks like she's not home. for such an emergency. I've had this specially made. You turn on the switch, then you shake it up and down. You turn on the light, you turn off the safety catch. It's infallible. It doesn't leave the slightest trace. Hmm? Just don't have the locks changed. Mademoiselle Simone? Francoise? Miss Simone? If only you could talk. Stuart. You seen one of these before? It's designed for smuggling. Type of thing the gold boys use. Boys? No. But anyway, it's one for our side. I wonder what else we'll discover. Jason. Somebody got here before us. What's this last letter? Uh, could be a B. Lucky LeBeau. International gambler. It all looks very glamorous. When was this, Sullivan? 
Can, six months ago. Newsreel material? Right, from a television company. There's only a few frames. He avoids publicity. Uh, he's coming up now. That, I take it, is Monsieur Le Beau. Yes, that's him. I wouldn't describe him as Beau. What's the feminine verdict? Well, he's not handsome, but there's a certain animal magnetism. Animal? What species? Goat? Try and cub your flippancy, King. Who's the girl? Yvette Debre's darling. His current? Hardly. He's reputed to have a high turnover. Oh, so Monsieur Le Beau is susceptible to the attractive female. Well, according to his press clippings, definitely. Could be useful. Any occupation besides gambling? None known. What about the source of his money originally? That's not known either. He was involved with the Maru scandal. Nothing proven. But the Surete have suspected him of being the brains behind the old Tucson group. The original gold runners to India and Hong Kong. And that again, I presume, not proven? No. It's time something was. We've got to get close to Mr. LeBeau, get proof, and make it stick. Might I suggest Miss Hurst for the job of getting close? fish on the beach. Worth catching? I'd say so. When I finish this, maybe I'll investigate. Trespassing. This is private property. Trespassing? That's right. I didn't see any sign. It's in French. And you don't read French. English. Mm -hmm. Vacationing? Mm -hmm. You could get burned, you know. Like Joan of Arc. Like the sun. Merci, Carl. Do you always treat trespassers like this? They are feminine and beautiful. Live huh? at Central? Mm -hmm. Where? At the Royal. Mm. Why are you saying what like that? You could do better than the Royal. It's already more than I can really afford. Paying for yourself. Mm -hmm. Judging by how white you are. You can only just have started your vacation. I've already had two days. Thank you. Yes, hoping. Hoping, hoping what? That you'll have a good time. And I'm sure you will. How long have you got? Twelve more days. Call me lucky. And are you? At card. Call me Annabelle. Annabelle. I like that. Large pre <laughs> I must remember that. Must be getting old. Old? Mm, you're missing the cabaret. 
There's so many girls around after a while you don't notice. Listen, would you like a beer? They're very cold. Thanks. It's a bit of a letdown after champagne. Beer pression, s'il vous plaît. Champagne. Mm -hmm. Does that mean you scored? He's invited me to dinner tonight. Bullseye. I didn't accept. No? No. Girls should be elusive, Stuart. You know that. Yes, I think I do. Yes, of course you do. Anyway, I allowed him to persuade me to accept for tomorrow night. And Lucky has charm. Great charm. Oh, Lucky has charm. Great charm. Lucky has animal magnetism. Lucky's got an awful lot going for him. You better remember what you told me about his turnover. I will. Mmm. You're right about that beer. It's very good. Well, as long as you're going to go through with it. Camera, hmm? Remember to lift this before you shoot. Right. Lipstick. And the bottom. It's a microphone. I hope you've got the shade right. <laughs> Don't get caught. It's Gerard. He's located Maziel. What does he expect? Congratulations. He knows what to do. Tell him to do it. There's no change. Carry out your original instructions. All right. I'll do that. Au revoir. <laughs> Sometime last night, in Montmartre. The lab reports confirm that Mazio, the man in the car, and Clement, the man in the plane markup, were both killed with the same gun. Both shot through the back of the seat. We've walked right into some kind of takeover. A double cross? The killer waited in his car maybe for hours for the victim. Mazio, do we have any record on him? No, nothing. He's clean like Clement. You're not getting the bricks, are you, Sullivan? No. No, we're not. I think I'll pull Annabelle out. Oh, why? Well, if there is some kind of private war, we can stand back and pick up the pieces afterwards. At least that way she won't be a part of them. Yes, but we still have to find out what that dummy aircraft was about. Some kind of rehearsal. What kind of rehearsal? I suppose Lobo was in saint -Tropez last night. Yes. Oh, he wouldn't have done his own killing. Yes. That is if he's involved, of course. You still have no proof. Except for Francoise. She only wrote his name on the mirror. She was also killed with the same gun. Where's King now? He's driving down. I set up a caravan within radio range. I don't see how you could possibly take off Miss Hurst from the case. When is she seeing Lobo? Tonight. Mmm. They really are beautiful. May I? Help yourself. Details are so good. Did you make it? It takes your minds over the business, eases the pressure. Two more of my favorites, the albatross and the spad. That's crazy. Crazy? I never met a girl who could give the names before. My grandfather was in the Royal Flying Corps. I grew up on von Richthofen and the Flying Circus. Your paintwork's so good. Oh, funny face, Werner Voss. I got something special for you. 24th scale.
I did not make this myself. Won first prize in a worldwide competition. Look at the details. All handmade. It's perfect. I've never seen anything so perfect before, never. Pretty good, eh? It's perfect. Absolutely. Much, but we call it home. Ah. Thank you, thank you. It's too much what it's far too much. The juice of the grape, good for you. Mm. Tell me next that it helps build bones and teeth. But it does. I need it then. Growing girl. Excuse me. Yes? Yes, speaking. Certain information passed through my hands today. Would you be able to carry out Code Mistral on the 17th? That's in order. Good. I'll confirm as soon as possible. Solemn now, serious. The call? No, nothing. Business. Let's say. Why don't you relieve the pressure and uh, make a model? With you around. <laughs> you trying to get me drunk or something? A little bit, maybe. Are you a millionaire or do you just uh, live like? I am a magician. Ah, that explains it. Play poker? <laughs> little, very little. Never with someone who shuffles a pack like you do. Go ahead and then see what you got. Go all the way with a hand like that, Annabelle? I'd have to, wouldn't I? I mean, four queens. And you would lose. Four aces. I don't believe it. Absolutely no deception whatsoever. <laughs> Worth a little reward, perhaps. A little dance, maybe? Oh. Hold on. <laughs> <Did> you... Too 
Je te donnerai. Carl. Yes, Lucky. Pick up those cards. Sure, Lucky. It's all right, Stuart. I'm wide awake. The plans are going 100%. There's a room here that's kept locked. I'm going to investigate.
Must be Pearl White. Come in. A fate worse than death. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Jason. Oh. How'd you make out? I think you'll find something very interesting in that. Lovely. I'll start on this right away. Uh... Oh, that's why. What's that cross over there? What does that signify? Well, there's one thing, sure. It's right in the middle of the Sahara. It's next to a town or a village or whatever. Uh, Hassi Salah. Listen, I'm going to take a run into Central, okay? Get Annabelle to phone the office in Paris and find out everything she can on that area. Ask her to find out if the airlines fly caravels. And another thought occurs to me. Accra is in Ghana. So? The old name for Ghana is the Gold Coast. They also mine diamonds there. Let's suppose that a caravel leaving Accra, destination Paris, loaded with gold and or diamonds. And let us further suppose that Lucky knows about this particular cargo. And plans to hijack the plane. The cross now becomes significant. I'll get on to Annabelle right away. I'm beginning to draw this one. Oh, I'm so happy for you, Jason. Visitor. Good to see you, Gerard. Have a good run down? Sure. No trouble at all. But I'm a little dry. I could do with a cold beer. I'll get you one. You fixed my job. Permanently. You sure the rest of the boys accept you for number one? Oh, yes. I'm number one. Good, Gerard. Very good. The date. Do we have it? Provisionally. I'm waiting confirmation. <sighs> Have a drink now, Gerard. Relax. Yes, I'll do just that. Would you like a beer, Jason? You must be joking. We haven't had a peep out of that thing for the last hour. Relax, Jason. Relax. <laughs> I only hope we're not missing out on anything. Passy Salah. There's an old airfield nearby built during the war and still serviceable. That's it. That has to be. They hijacked the plane and forced the pilot to land there. With our own plane standing by to transfer. Now all we have to do is to inform the police. Yes? This is to confirm the 17th. Flight 547. Repeat. 547. You have that? Yes. Yes, I got it. You have got the date? The 17th, flight 547. <sighs> You're dripping, Gerard. Go and change. We'll have a drink and celebrate. Ah, 
Al, get me a dry towel. You think I'm your servant? All right, so I'm saying please. Here, catch. Four, seven, lucky. That's all I was waiting for. Gerard, please. Not your lucky day, lucky. But you did make me number one. And that's what I'm going to be. I don't think we need to concern ourselves unduly about Flight 547. Well, we'd better get over there. <laughs> 